us. Opera is at its best when what you see and hear on stage resonates with something in your own life. We all instantly relate to a story or a character when we can have thoughts like, that's so similar to what my grandfather used to talk about, or that woman could easily have been my mother. For me, that is what is so beautiful about our world premiere opera, Morning Star. All of us can relate to the plot and the people. At its heart, Morning Star is an operatic chronicle of the birth of our nation as a melting pot of cultures and languages, and the birth of our nation as a powerful industrial force in the world. Morning Star is about a typical immigrant family. In this case, Russian Jewish immigrants who have fled persecution in their homeland and have come to the land of opportunity, America. In the opera, they are called the Feldermans. Becky Felderman, the mother and a widow, is trying to raise three daughters and a son in the tumultuous atmosphere of the Lower East Side of New York in the years just before World War I. The story is rich in historical details and vividly drawn characters to whom all of us can relate. Besides the strong figure of the mother, Becky, there is the beautiful daughter who will die tragically. There is the ugly duckling daughter who will find only hardship and strife, much of it of her own making. There is the son, soon to be sacrificed on the killing fields of World War I, and so much more. All of these characters come to life from the imagination of composer Ricky Ian Gordon, one of the most popular opera composers of our time. He and his librettist Bill Hoffman based the story on a play from the 1940s and enlisted the brilliant stage director Ron Daniels to give their words and music superb dramatic continuity. What Ricky brings to this opera, especially, is just what makes opera so thrilling. This could be the story of his family. Looming over Morningstar is an actual tragedy, the fire at the New York Triangle Shirtwaist Factory on March 25, 1911. 146 young men and women, most of them immigrants, were either incinerated or jumped to their deaths when a fire fueled by scraps of clothing material engulfed the factory. Ricky's own grandmother, Rebecca Lieberman, could have been one of the victims. She worked at the Triangle, but had stayed home sick that day. When word of the fire sped through the tenements, Rebecca and her mother rushed to the horrific scene. And the opera? The most promising of the Felderman daughters dies in that fire on what was to have been her wedding day. Even though there is much that is serious and thoughtful about this opera, there's also great joy, the joy of creativity. In another wonderful autobiographical touch, the young man, Irving Tashman, who wants to marry one of the Felderman daughters, is an aspiring composer of songs. Ricky has given this character a beautiful serenade with which to win the hand of Fanny Felderman. It sounds just like one of the great Tin Pan Alley melodies of the era, but it is completely original. Ricky's own mother was a celebrated entertainer in her youth. The daughter of immigrants herself, she made her fame singing both popular music of the World War II era and the hauntingly beautiful melodies of the Jewish immigrant tradition. Ricky says that the sound of his mother's voice was in his mind and in his heart all the time he was writing Morning Star. What makes Morning Star so compelling is the deepest truth of all that is embedded in the opera. It is that through thick and thin, we stand the best chance of surviving and thriving through the love shared in our families. Through the joy of embracing a new life in America, to the sorrow of loss and the struggles of hard times, Becky Felderman sings again and again that the family abides. For me, Ricky and the entire creative team have fashioned a tale of perseverance and hope 
that transcends all the challenges that life can throw at us. And they've done it with sublime music that goes directly from heart to heart. I hope you'll join us at least once between June 30th and July 19th in the intimate surroundings of the Corbett Theater at the School for Creative and Performing Arts for one of the seven performances of Morning Star.